an extension to how to ask about somebody's name. Masmu Kel Karim, as you know, that means what's your good name? Masmu Kel Karim. Ismi Imran. My name is Imran. Masmu Kel Karim. Ismi Imran. Afwan. This Afwan means it's like a pardon. I didn't catch that. Afwan. Afwan. And I would say Imran. So let's write it down in uh, using Arabic script as well. You know already how to uh, say Masmu Kel Karim. I'm going to write it again anyway. So Masmu Kel Karim. Masmu Kel Karim. What's your good name? Ismi. Ismi. And then the name. Imran in this case. So my name is Imran. Then Afwan is like pardon. Afwan. So that's the Ain. Afwan. Af. Afwan. Afwan. A pardon. Or come explanation. Afwan. Pardon. As if you are asking, say, I didn't catch that. Can you say that again, please? Afwan. Afwan is a very useful phrase, actually. Afwan can mean, excuse me. Afwan can mean, don't mention it. If I say thank you, say Afwan. That's all right. No worries. Afwan can mean, excuse me. Afwan can also convey the meaning of, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Afwan. It means, pardon me. Uh, forgive me. Afwan. But here, when you say, Masmu Kel Karim, what's your good name? And I say, Ismi Imran. My name is Imran. He say, Afwan, um, pardon? I say, Imran. My name is Imran. Fursatun Sa'ida. Fursatun Sa'ida. Pleased to meet you. Fursatun Sa'ida. You can say, Fursatun Sa'ida tun, if you wish, or Fursatun Sa'ida, or even Fursa Sa'ida. That, that, that's fine. Meaning, Pleased to meet you. Fursa on its own means opportunity, an opportunity. Sa'ida means happiness. It's like saying, oh, I'm very happy to have met you. So, Fursa tun Sa'ida or Fursa Sa'ida. This is how you write it. Fursa Sa'ida. Fursa Sa'ida. So you can say Fursatun Sa'ida to pronounce the ending if you wish or Fursa Sa'ida. The, re the response Fursa Sa'ida. If I say to you Fursatun Sa'ida or Fursa Sa'ida, you can respond by saying Fursa Sa'ida, repeating the same thing. Or you can say Tasharrafna, we are honored. Tasharrafna. Fursatun Sa'ida, Tasharrafna. So Tasharrafna. Tashar. Tasharrafna. Fursatun Sa'ida. Tasharrafna. Tasharrafna. Masmuk al Karim. Ismi Imran. Afwan. Imran. Fursatun Sa'ida. Fursatun Sa'ida. Tasharrafna. Now, question. Hell is one of our interrogative particles meaning the, the, the particle that you use to ask a question. Hal ismuka Zuhair? Is your name Zuhair? Hal ismuka Zuhair? Is your name Zuhair? I said, la. No. Uh, ismi Zubair. No, my name is Zubair, not Zuhair. Hal ismuka Zuhair? Is your name Zuhair? La. Ismi Zubair. Let's write that as well so you can see the difference in writing Zuhair and uh, uh, Zubair using the Arabic uh, Arabic script. So, Hal Ismuka Zuhair. Hal Hal Ismuka Ismuka.
Zuka, Zuhair. هل اسمك زهير؟ You will say لا. اسمي اسمي زبير. 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 لا اسمي زبير. هل اسمك زهير؟ لا اسمي زبير. I can say هل اسمك آه عبد الله؟ Say, la, it's me, Abdurrahman. Or you can say, now, of course. Hal ismuka Zuhair? La, it's me, Zubair. Hal ismuka Abdurrahman? Is your name Abdurrahman? So, hal ismuka Abdurrahman? Abdurrahman? هل اسمك عبد الرحمن؟ نعم. Yes. نعم. 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 Yes. اسمي عبد الرحمن. Yes. اسمي عبد الرحمن. اسمي and then عبد الرحمن. عبد الرح Man, Abdul Rahman. Yes, my name is Abdul Rahman. Hal ismuka Zuhair? La, ismi Zubair. Hal ismuka Abdul Rahman? Naam, ismi Abdul Rahman. Here, a cultural note here. Now, as a Muslim, we name ourselves after one of the 99 names of Allah. Abdul Rahman, Abdullah, Abdul Qahar, Abdul Wahab, and so on. So culturally, it is not advisable uh, to split this double name because Abdul itself means a servant or a slave. So we are calling ourselves a servant of God, a servant of the um, um, the here Rahman, the merciful, a servant of the merciful, and, and so on. So, is some people occasionally you hear people calling say Abdul. So that is one only one part of the the whole name. So it should be Abdul Rahman or Abdullah or Abdul Rahim or Abdul Wahab, whatever the attachment may be. So. That's a cultural name there. People would not necessarily like people to, to shorten their name from Abdul Rahman and say Abdul. But it is an individual uh, uh, taste and things. Uh, people may elect to call themselves whatever they, they feel comfortable with. But uh, culturally speaking, it should be pronounced together Abdul Rahman, Abdul Wahab, Abdullah, and so on.